Uh, okay, I I have said this many times, uh, but uh, I'll say it again. Sorry if I'm sweaty. I just came back from uh, a long day at school, and on my way home, I picked this package up, which is from Eric uh, Lonesome Foghorn. I wasn't sure if I was gonna unbox this, but why not? You know, I mean, it's a package. Uh, I bought it from him. It's not really one of these YouTube trades that people do. It's more of um, you know, I bought the DVDs or his Blu-rays from him. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so I figured I would uh, make an unboxing. I have covered the, the address up here. Uh, his is on the back too, so I won't turn it around. Uh, but let's see, I mean, I know what movies I have here. I have um, bought from him. He, he's, he let me know on Facebook that he, uh, I don't know, maybe you can open it like this. It's, uh, he let me know on Facebook that he uh, was selling some stuff, and uh, I took a look at what he had, and um, there was a lot of stuff that I that I wanted, a lot of stuff, uh, even a lot of stuff that I had planned on buying, not just, <coughs> not just uh, you know, oh, that looks good, I'll, I'll get that, but it, w it was a lot of things that I had, uh, for example, I had had them on my Amazon wish list. I had had, uh, I had had, uh, the reason I always giggle after I say that is because I've said it so many times, so it just sounds ridiculous by now. But, um, yeah, so I have planned on getting a, a, a couple of these uh, myself for a while, so uh, let's just take them out one by one and introduce the titles. This is There Will Be Blood, which I do have on DVD, but... Uh, I want it on Blu-ray. <laughs> I want to see it again. I it's one of these movies. Sometimes you buy a movie. At least personally, this is the case uh, at a few points where I bought a movie. I watched it. I haven't been that impressed. Then a while later, I've looked back on the movie, you know, in my head or whatever, and then I've been thinking like, well, why did I dislike that movie so much? Because it, now that I think back on it, it, it looks pretty good, <laughs> you know, somehow. And um, this is one of them. So there will be blood. Um, I would guess that I would like. I'm gonna like it much more now. But there has been instances where I where I have rewatched a movie like this, and I have not liked it more. But we will see. This is Triangle. I don't have this, but I have seen it. And uh, uh, same thing with this one, actually. Uh, so yeah. Um, triangle. Uh, train spotting. Uh, not really the same case with this, but I do have it on DVD. It's just that I can't remember it. I can't remember anything from the movie, and it's only been a few years since I watched it. Usually, if, I mean, when you, if, even if you can't recall that much from the movie, you usually remember certain scenes. You remember some things from it. I really, I can't remember a single proper frame. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't even remember images from the movie. I know who's in it. And I know that it's gritty, but I don't know anything else. I think it's gritty. <laughs> I just I don't remember anything, and I would I would really like to watch it again. So that's Train Spotting, as sort of a horizontal back here. Um, then we have The Departed. This one I have seen a long time ago, uh, when it was new. Two thousand six. Well, yeah, so it must have been in 2006 that I saw it, because it's been a long time, it feels like so. And I saw it on my computer, and I didn't get it at all, so looking forward to see it again. Um, the, Prest shit, the Prestige. Uh, been in intrigued by this movie for a long time, and I'm, uh, might be one of the first ones I'll watch out of these. Uh, obviously, it's a Christopher Nolan movie, and... Uh, not positive, but I think after this one, not counting uh, The Dark Knight Rises, only Insomnia is left for me to watch, which is sort of like his worst movie, although it's still pretty highly praised, if you compare it to a lot of other directors. I mean, some directors have their most successful movie at the same level or whatever as Christopher Nolan's least. <laughs> so... Um,
this one uh, might look for might watch this first because this one I really want to see uh, the thin red line I think the title is the title it's a Swedish text as a sw Swedish release so it's actually does say it on the cover in red in parenthesis in English I didn't see it but yeah the thin red line uh, great cast in this one um, I'm hoping it's the uncut version um, doesn't really matter too much but I think that um, there uh, that there is uh, some there's a, there's a lot of famous actors in this one and I think that one or two or something of those were cut out of the theatrical version so uh, that's what I've heard so uh, yeah uh, I don't know but Uh, collateral. Uh, I'm looking forward to this movie surprisingly uh, much, and why I'm saying that is because it's a, uh, you know, look at the cover. It's looks like an action movie. It has Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx in it. That's not what I normally want to watch, but this one seems very good. Um, so uh, yeah, looking forward to it. In a way, I have gotten into action a little bit more lately. I haven't watched that much more, but. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can get into the genre a bit more again. And this one has a slipcase, which is always appreciated. And uh, it's The King's Speech. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention if I've seen... No. Uh, the Prestige, Thin Red Line, Collateral I have not seen, so I guess that's why I didn't mention anything. Um, this one I have seen, if I didn't say that. Um, last year, must have. it must have been... Because I think it came out last year, so... Um, well... Actually, now I'm, now I'm not sure. No, two, 2010 maybe, okay, wh whatever. Um, yeah, um, I liked it, I, I want to see it again. <laughs> I don't have much more to say about it. Unstoppable. Uh, this uh, also also sort of an action movie. By the way, Collateral might not be an action movie. It might might be crime thriller or sort of. But you know, um, this is definitely an action movie though. Um, Unstoppable. Uh, I wasn't sure if this was a remake or not, but I um, now I think I know that it's not. But uh, it's, it, I don't know. Uh, it's just one of those movies. It looks like it might be a remake, but a train that they can't stop that they need to somehow get under control. I guess that's what it's about, yeah. Um, and uh, that, yeah, I um, that sounds, you know, um, like a good movie, like something I'd, I'd enjoy watching. Uh, I think that was all. I don't know what this is. Let's let's check it out. This is uh, very generous of you. Uh, he also included uh, Draconian Times by Paradise Lost. Um, maybe that was why you asked me if I had all of their CDs. Uh, but anyway, um, I th is this your favorite album? I don't know why I'm asking you because you're not here. But um, but uh, yes, great album, great band. Um, um, yeah, thank you very much. That's uh, that's really nice of you. Uh, it has almost, I mean, this is in no way intended to sound unappreciative or anything. I'm just saying that when people do these YouTube trades, this is not a trade, but you know, uh, they tend to include something extra. And by now, it has sort of come to the level where if someone, get, uh, you know, if you buy something from another person or if they do a trade, they expect that person to include something extra, and if you don't, it's almost like, you know, it's, hmm, he didn't include something extra. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, really, because, you know, people shouldn't have to throw in something extra. But, of course, that's appreciated. Very nice of you, again. Uh, there's a bug on my arm. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, so, uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see which ones I decide to watch first.
um, 10 minutes right when I turn the camera around. That's fantastic. Um, anyway, um, for once not a 27 minute video. Uh, thanks for watching again and uh, see you in my next video.